Hi guys, welcome to a Wednesday write, Writing Wisdom. Oh, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get used to that. There is a thing that a lot of people will do, if you go to forums like I do, if you go to the Reddit forum you'll see me, if you go to Stage 32 you'll see me, or the forum over at Script Revolution, I'm always Craig D. Griffiths, you'll see me wherever you, wherever you go. What they'll do to make a point, because they hate being wrong, is that they will summarise what you're saying, or they'll summarise a piece of wisdom, and then they'll throw things at it, they'll make fun of that. That's called a straw man argument. You make a straw man, then you attack the straw man. You don't attack the real argument. So if you were to say something like, I don't think structure is that important, they'll then make a straw man out of those words. Because what you're, well, what you're saying is, you don't think that the st strict structure of this page, this number, this thing, you must have a dead mentor, you know, all those sorts of rules that you see in those books, you don't think that's important? I'll say, oh, okay, so we can just have a, a film made out of poetry, can we? Oh, we'll do it all with interpretive dance. No structure. Every, we'll just kill the script and shuffle the pages, and that's how we'll edit it together. We don't need structure in a story. They'll make ludicrous comments about a reasonable question. When someone does that, feel free to ignore them. I'm, that, I'm, I'm not your dad. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But, or point out their foolishness. Point out they're making a straw man argument. Try to drag them back to having a sensible conversation because everyone really does have something to contribute in the writing industry. But stay away from people who are going to straw man just to prove their point because a lot of people have learned something and refuse to learn anything new. They want to stick with that because they want to feel like they're an expert in the industry. Keep writing.